is Tariq Talk. Your host, Tariq Mendez, takes you on a journey with guests from all around the world. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. This is Tariq Talk. All right, guys, today we are here at Art on Paper Fair. I am with... I am with Fabian de Tochi. Did I get that right? Yes. Perfect. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yes. Thank you so much for um, this little interview. I'm really happy to be here in, uh, in New York for the Asset Art Fair. Um, my father is a photographer and my mother, she's a painter. So I grew up, I'm really the mix between both of them. So yeah. that's why, you know, the, um, m- on my work, the lines are blurred between those two mediums and uh, I'm working with uh, Polaroids so that I'm, uh, uh, I lift the emulsion and put them on gold uh-huh. I'm the only one I think to, to do that so that's why the art fair asked me to do some performances to, uh, during this art fair oh wow and uh, why do I work with gold? Is to I like the preciousness of time because uh-huh. we can buy cars, we can yeah. buy houses, but there is something we can't can buy. buy. It's time. time. Yeah. And to I like the, um, those precious moments spent with those women, mm-hmm. or the preciousness also of uh, of the emotions. Mm-hmm. I worked with uh, with gold. Um, all my work is uh, I'm documenting my life, so it's really something close to uh, to what I live, to uh, and I so I document life in general yeah. through emotions. And how do ideas come to you? Like, how do you get your ideas? So I like to uh, to quote an artist I really like. It's uh, Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon mm. used oh, my to say. Artist. Oh, yeah. Francis Bacon used to say, uh, trying to explain uh, inspiration mm-hmm. is trying to explain instinct. Yeah. You can't really explain. Uh, when you're an artist, you're, you're just uh, living, um, um, and you're I- hypersensitive. And uh, so it's about, all is about instinct. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a subject that drives my, uh, my hand, not, uh, I don't, not the the yeah. opposite yeah. and um, so yes my, my inspiration comes from of course my uh, my childhood when my mother uh, used to drag me in the Louvre and in the museum ah. so as a you know she's a painter so um, so that's why you can find all those references about Monet yeah. about Cézanne because I I, um, I grew up in Aix-en-Provence okay. so the same city of Cézanne yeah and, uh, or the guy with my dancers and so there is also this legacy in my work also so do you think being exposed so early on as a child to so much different artists and going to the muse- the local museum do you think that has impacted your work today of course of course I, I used to, uh, to to really be pissed off when, uh, uh-huh. when my mother said ok let's go to museum no no but today of course I say I, I'm so thankful yeah. to because yeah, I really believe that um, all this, uh, all those visits, all those uh, uh, image of s- I have seen in my in my uh, um, prime um, influenced me a lot. You, yeah. know, you can find it back in my work. So uh, yes, yes. And do you have a, a preference of day? Do you like to work in the night time as an artist, daytime, or whenever you get creative? Um, I work most of the time. 24 or 7 24 okay <laughs> wow no it depends you know it's it's, it's the same it's uh, it's inspiration comes and it's yeah. precious so when it's come when it comes uh, uh, you have to follow it and to try n- not to lose it because it's precious yeah and so um, <coughs> yeah i have um, yeah i'm i'm always working it's a uh, and it's not even working it's uh, you know it's my life yeah. so I can't do anything are, yeah. else so uh, yeah. even here you know I'm really happy to be here to present my work and I also very happy to perform live painting because it allows me to oh, very to nice. work yeah and that's uh, what I'm yes. doing but even when I'm gonna go back tonight to my hotel mm-hmm. uh, I'm still you know creating if, if something inspires me or yeah. Even a little thing I can I can create. I like that. And how do you keep track of all your ideas? Do you write them down? Do you draw everything? Like all of your ideas and inspirations? No, I uh, I just 
do it. Just do it. Yeah, like I just a very did, uh, yeah, just uh, take my uh, my uh, acrylic and my gold leaf and uh, everything, even my cameras, which is yeah. over there, um, and I can um, yeah make a picture. And uh, for example, yesterday. I found the, uh, uh, this little coin in on the street. Is yes, that, that's the what penny. One yeah, it's uh, one penny. cent. Yeah. Okay. And so it was on the, yeah, the sidewalk, floor, yeah. and it's you know rusted. Uh -huh. It's uh, and uh, that's what I find poetic. You know, it's, it's it's kind of a good luck. Yeah. In fact, and uh, and it's also. Um, in my work, there is a lot of uh, Japanese philosophy, for example, I include uh, the wabi-sabi philosophy. Mm -hmm. w it's, um, it's to find poetry in object worn by time mm -hmm. and uh, into melancholia also yeah. and to things that you usually don't look at. Yeah. And uh, for this one, it's a, it's a still life of uh, white flowers that I don't buy. I uh -huh. have to be very sensitive and very... Uh, um, uh, open to 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 find them on the on the streets yeah and uh, and then I take them back to my to my atelier and work um, on the sea life and so that's poetry for yeah. me yeah so it's the poetry beautiful it's, um, yeah I mean your work is truly amazing you have to see in person yes it's to so fully appreciate it they are very odd to um, to 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 see on screen, yeah, because they in pictures, they yeah. play with lights and yeah. uh, they are better first hand for sure. It's an sure. experience in person for sure. And do you have any? Is this your first time that you're at the Art on Paper Fair? Yes, it's the first time. I, I think that my gallerist told me that uh, um, one of the directors of the fair saw my work in San Francisco. Okay, fair, and uh, she asked. Uh, Nicola, my gallery, Nicola Ouvray, uh, to um, if I could come and perform um, live with, oh, wow. uh, with this work on gold. Yeah. So uh, it was, yeah, I'm very excited to be to be here. That's very to be cool. Back in New York. And do you know how cool. many artworks you have on display here at your booth? Uh, there is, I think, um, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, wow. Piece of work in, at, at the art fair. There is some on the wall. Uh, oh well. Yeah. Hopefully there is some sales, but yeah. uh, there is also um, uh, on the some at on the reserve. Yes. So on demand. And do you have any other mediums that you want to like try and experiment in the future with? Uh, well, no. It's uh, it's my my uh, um, my tool. My, my 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 way of expression is with Polaroids, and because they are pièce unique, uh -huh. and. Um, and now I'm, I'm, I'm painting on, on them, I'm painting on yeah. paper, I'm, uh, but... Uh, and also, are you always inspired and always creating, or can you, like, s separate a little bit to, like, enjoy your life and not think about art and being an artist a little bit, or it's, um, like, just everything you love? Uh, you know, when you're an artist, uh, sometimes you need to, um, to just do nothing, because... Yeah. Uh, it looks like if you're doing nothing, but in your head, it's uh, it's like right? a storm, and yeah. uh, and, uh, and at what point at one point it has to come out. Yeah. And uh, so I have, of course, some periods, some ups and down, and um, and uh, and also melancholia for me is a very important uh, fuel. You mustn't uh, let it drive you, otherwise yeah. it's can you can call it depression. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Of course. But uh, but the poetry is also for me into melancholia and uh, and um, yeah so you have to be very open don't fight against uh, those kind of uh, feelings because it's um, yeah that's where the poetry once again it's, it's where the poetry is and to be hypersensitive yeah. and to accept it but don't let it drive got it and being here at the fair do you like hearing people like their feedback like what do they see in your art do you like the engaging when talking with them uh, it's very uh, amazing i'm really amazed and uh, and grateful uh, grateful to um, to all the people who comes here and discover my work and uh, they are very curious because it's a uh, yeah, it's one of a kind one of kind yeah, yeah. and uh, so they are curious about the process and they are curious about uh, um, what I want to say uh, through my work, and so they are very interested. And uh, and uh, yeah, it's 
it's beautiful, uh, warm, welcoming. Yeah, good to hear. And then, Very have cool. you been getting inspired by New York City so far? Like getting good ideas, new ideas? Oh, I love New York City. Yeah. It's, uh, I haven't been there for uh, maybe ten years, oh, wow, so okay. I'm really happy to be back here. And uh, this energy and this, uh, yeah. yeah, it's something I really like, and I think I, I could live here. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Hopefully, one day. Yeah. Um, but Paris is good too. Yes, no, <laughs> Paris is much better. I love Paris. Can't Not compare. Better. It's just something else. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, it was a pleasure getting to know you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for being on the podcast. Thank you so much. And just to let everybody know, he's next to booth A04, booth number three. So please check him out. And can you share your Instagram one more time for everybody listening? Yes, it says Instagram. It's uh, Detori Fabian. D O T T O R I. If oh, you're going Perfect. To okay, so so it's uh, it's at D E T T O R I uh, F A B I E N. So yeah. please, everybody, follow him. Check him out. He's an amazing artist. He does one of a kind work, and is really really nice guy. Thank you so and much. Until next time, we see each other. Okay. And there is also two live performance plan per day. Oh wow! That you're so doing every day. Yeah. So oh, wow. today it's going to be at 5 p.m. Okay. Tomorrow I think there is one at 1 p.m. and 3:50 uh, p.m. Perfect. Oh wow. Okay. Right, cool. So That's everybody. Please that. come. It's a must see, and you guys are going to love to see the work in person. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you. Thank Merci. You. <laughs> Thank you for Bye-bye. listening to Tariq Talk. Follow Tariq Talk on all social media channels and check out the video interviews online.